Hello. Still starting, so bear with me. Hi, good morning. I hope you're well. It's Wellness Wednesday and um, bear with me, my screen is not working as it should and I'm trying to fix it, but um, maybe I will just have to go as it is. So I hope you can hear me. And um, it's Wellness Wednesday, so I wanted to jump on and do a quick live today and share with you um, some useful information about our lymphatic system. So. Most of us generally know that blood pumps around our body and we need that blood to pump around our body to take nutrients and oxygen around our cells. But many of us um, probably don't know so much about our lymphatic system. Now, our lymphatic system is a network of um, tubes around our body, um, which sit just below the surface of our skin. And that system is designed to take, um, you know, our white blood cells around our body and our um um, our plasma and so on and so forth. So the lymphatic system consists, consists of these tubes of network around our body. It also consists of um, our bone marrow, our tonsils, our adenoids, our spleen, our thymus gland, which is under our breastbone, our lymph nodes, and again, these vessels. So why this is really important is because two years ago, I was feeling very, very unwell. And I noticed in my skin, the pallor of my skin was kind of a grayy, yellowy color. And when you have a lot of toxins build up in your body, it starts to show on the surface of your skin because again, the lymphatic system is just below the surface of our skin. And if our body can't eliminate toxins, then they get stored in our body. And we start to feel achy and pain. We, um, our, our lymphatic system can become blocked or slow or sluggish. And that's really important because then you start to be more prone to disease as well as illness because we need our lymphatic system to build our, up our immune system and to keep us healthy. And it also fights against viruses and infections and even cancers. So we don't generally find out about the importance of our lymphatic system until we become ill. But what I want to um, put to you today is that if you focus on keeping your lymphatic system healthy now, you prevent illness and so you become, you maintain it. Now, unlike our circulatory system where we have a heart to pump our blood around our body, we don't have a pump for our lymphatic system. And our lymphatic system tends to go um, around our body, starting from our lower extremities up and around our gut and our intestines. We have a huge amount of the, um, the bulk of our lymphatic system sits around our gut and our intestines. So what we need to do is to, um, let's say, encourage and promote our lymphatic system to do the work for us. And the best way to do that is you we have to move. Now, moving our body stimulates our lymphatic system and gets those toxins moving, helps us build new white blood cells, and again, helps build our immune system. So the main things we need to do is to move our body, to exercise. So good exercises to do are walking and swinging your arms, um, jogging, jumping on trampoline. So that's considered to be one of the better activities because when you jump on the trampoline, your, your muscles contract and relax, but you're stimulating from your feet up. So jumping on the trampoline with the kids is a great way to um, stimulate your lymphatic system. Um, Pilates, yoga, bike um, riding, and star jumps are amazing for your lymphatic system. So if you don't remember how to do star jumps from school, just go like this. So do some star jumps at home. Another amazing thing you can do for your lymphatic system is called diaphragm, di um, Sorry, I've got a tongue twister. Um, the diaphragm, diaphragmatic breathing. So breathe very deeply into your diaphragm, which sits below your rib cage, and hold the um, breath, and then breathe out for longer. So let's say you breathe in for four, you hold the breath, and then you exhale for eight. And if you do that three or four times a day, you start to kind of get the lymphatic system in the stomach to start activating more regularly. And then they keep that pump working consistently throughout the day. Because one of the challenges we have with the lymphatic system is if we're sedentary most of the day, i.e. sitting at our desk, sitting down to eat, sitting down to watch TV, lying down to sleep, our lymphatic system is not getting stimulated all throughout the day to remove toxins from our body. 
So if you think exercise is a chore, think of it as building new cells and um, and and um, pumping your lymphatic system, which is going to help keep you healthy because it's going to be moving toxins out of your body on a consistent and daily basis. So that's really, really important. Um, and then the other thing you can do is to brush your skin. So you can go and buy a soft bristle, bristled brush and brush the surface of your skin because when you stimulate the surface blood flow, it also helps stimulate the lymphatic system, which is really, really important. Um, and the other one... Um, which I really like to do and have done recently and have been recommending some of my um, friends to do is to go for lymphatic drainage massage. So that tends to be a quite gentle massage which is focused around your main lymphatic um, cluster of lymph nodes um, and the organs, etc. because you really want to just stimulate and gently massage those areas. Again, it acts as pumping the system and it gives you a cleanse so if you're starting to feel tired and sluggish or you've got aches and pains in your body which just aren't shifting and you look in the mirror and you start to feel like you're not looking well, it could be that your lymphatic system needs a workout and you can do a lymphatic drainage massage, which is actually quite relaxing but very beneficial. You'll notice within a few days aches and pains that you are storing in your body um, starts to go away. Because what we don't realise is that when we, we are absorbing toxins all the time through the, through the environment, through what we put on our skin and through what we ingest, and the worst type of foods for our lymphatic system are highly processed foods. So you need to be drinking water, eating whole foods, um, fruit and vegetables, very good for lymphatic system. So just you can go on and you can Google, you know, what's good for my lymphatic system and it will show you top five things, ten things that you can do that are going to help your lymphatic system. Because if your lymphatic system is healthy, then by default, the rest of your body should be healthy. But only you can control it because you are the pump. So you need to stand up, you need to walk, you need to exercise, you need to pump that system. So those are really important things that I wanted to share um, this week because as I said recently if we live our life from a point of wellness we prevent illness now our lymphatic system works hard to fight illnesses and viruses but if we can keep our lymphatic system healthy we should prevent our body from getting those things in the first place so those are really important messages I wanted to share today um, I have found a very um, interesting succinct article called four ways to keep your lymphatic system healthy by ty bollinger i'll attach it onto the bottom of this live please have a read of it do some research of your own and just remember when we exercise we build new cells and we build our lymphatic system so that we can fight off disease and illness and that's really important so thanks for watching have a great week my daughter is running this morning in her school sports day and i'm going to watch live on facebook in a minute so have a great week and see you soon take care bye